well, I'm not fired. So I don't see why I shouldn't take over. And in today's uh, Health in 2.0, we have Jonathan Bush and child psychi psychiatry. Are the two related? Find out in this episode, the June 18th episode of Health in 2.0. And also, you just haven't been fired yet. All right, Jess, well, while I'm on my probationary period, it does look like we might be having the biggest IPO ever in digital health, health tech, coming up with uh, Bright Health. Yeah, right, $14 billion is the valuation on that one. And we know now where Tiger Global is going to get these next several hundred million dollar funding rounds. Yeah, it's all about turning the penny, as they used to say in the 17th century. Doesn't matter what you're up to. Could be dancers from Taipan, doesn't matter. Just invest in and turn the penny. All right. Okay, oh, so uh, reverence references. You know, really, well, uh, there was a very funny play called. Oh, now I'm really explaining it. Called, Heaven uh, help us. <laughs> called called, uh, called e easy money, easy money. Something. It was about the futures trading in London in the 80s when I was actually a futures trader, and uh, it was uh, and it had a tiny snippet at the start from like a 17th century play all about turning the penny and making money off money, which is. Uh, and nothing is new under the sun, or is nothing that new. Those wondering, haven't heard back yet from New Mountain Capital, Matthew Holt. Just, ah, you know. I did <laughs> notice he noticed your tweet. Oh, your, he, he noticed liked, it. He liked, liked it. On LinkedIn. He's probably hard to get. I'll get him eventually. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You stuck with this for a while. What? No? All right, start your timer, okay? <laughs> Ready and go. Zeus Health gets 35 million in a Series A, comes out, launches Jonathan Bush, CEO. The loan was read by injuries, led by injuries and horror. What's F Prime's in it? Maverick, Rock Health. Ah, what, 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 what is this? What is this? So here he is. He's back. He's back kind of behind the scenes, hoping to build tools and stuff for new types of health plan, uh, healthcare providers, including the one that his wife runs. For which he's an investor in Firefly and a bunch of others like City Block and others. Uh, there's a company called Commure, which General Catalyst is involved in, and Oracle Tendo. They're all building stuff so people can build stuff. Those new things like Iora and Oak Street and Village, they all built their own EMRs. So I'm a bit confused about what exactly it is, but it's all new, shiny, cool, smart people um, in the API world are in piling into Zeus. So, you know, interesting. All right, we mentioned the Bright Health uh, IPO, and then today, 23andMe goes public. What do you think? Unbelievable. It's valued at three and a half billion. And with Ricky, is apparently worth more than a billion dollars, not quite as much as her ex-husband, Sergey Brim, but, you know, not bad. And uh, revenue has been falling for three consecutive years. This year, maybe less than half two years ago. Good God, if that can, this dog can get out, <laughs> I'm spacking TCB tomorrow done all right how about pill club they get 49 million what does this one do oh uh, it's like nurx or neurox or neurox or it's called you know it's a uh, contraceptives for women online there is 116 million google and bunch of people in it uh they've got a better name right the pill club kind of tells you what they're selling oh yeah it sounds like so much fun to join that club <laughs> well i mean yeah but i understand that some women use this on a regular basis you know not a bad idea Go on. All right. What about Brightline, a uh, child mental health company, $72 million, Google Ventures, GB led, uh, Optum is in this, Seven Wire Ventures, Glenn Tolman oh, gets oh, on the board oh. as an observer along with Lauren Baranu, I think that's how you pronounce her surname, from Optum Ventures. What do you think about this? What do I think about this? Well, this oh, one God. I know very I, well. I dare not ask. <laughs> this one I know very well because not only did I talk with Naomi Allen, the CEO, before she got it going or when she was just getting it going, but I'm also a customer. Um, I agree. Time out. I wish yeah. I had a little disclaimer. It was like the views expressed on this show by Matthew Holt are solely the views of Matthew Holt. Go ahead. <laughs> who, who else's views they like it to be? <laughs> Am I now giving somebody else's views? Okay. So, I don't, here, so, I mean. <laughs> so Brightline is a fabulous, fabulous idea. Um, and, on board. Getting, and now Naomi's got enough money to execute on it. So basically what it, the, the problem is that for if you have a child with a problem, it's typically ADHD, sometimes depression, anxiety, that's the big one, right? Um, 
they get taken to an individual, you know, your pediatrician will refer them to some counselor they know, and it's a complete mess. Their goal is to put the family prep, the family counseling, the psychiatry, and the coaching all in one place, all integrated, it's similar to, you know, Lyra and Ginger, what they want to do, but putting it all together. They've taken a little while to get some of the tools in place, like some of the, uh, some of the, the bag of tools, but the counseling, I've, I've been through it. it it's first rate. The psychiatric care is first rate. All, the rest of it's all solvable with money. And there is a huge demand for children. I mean, even if you just deal with, you know, wealthy people, um, you know, their kids like me in Marin County, huge demand for like all these problems that needs to be sorted out, systematized and put into a world that people can access it, access it, access it easily. So I think as a business, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic opportunity. As a uh, service, um, you know, they were a little tweaking to go. They're, they're still early days, even though they raised all this money. But as uh, but the caliber of the people they've got on board in terms of counseling and uh, and uh, and clinical care is really really good. And I think the other stuff is easy to fix, right? The network is good, and they will. In all fairness, you were among one of the first. I oh no, I think I was in the first thirty families that used it. Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I was a guinea pig. <laughs> I was paying money to be a guinea pig, and you know. <laughs> the good news is they got to a good diagnosis. My daughter, she's doing much better. Good. I spent a lot of time at CVS looking for the damn drugs because the, the prescription price isn't all that smooth, which isn't there for. I think they might end up adding on a pharmacy. If I were them, I would do that. And with this money, maybe they'll do that. But, uh, you know, it, it's it's a problematic area just because the the, the script, the, the drugs most people use, really, even though it's, you know, and those kinds of drugs, they are still prescribed substances because you can, if you've got enough of them, you can turn them into a meth lab. So it's a painful thing to deal with yeah. on the kids' side. But, you know, as, as an idea, taking what's been a messy patchwork piece by piece thing for parents to deal with and putting it in the entire system is great. And, you know, they are way ahead of the crowd. There was another one called Little Otters, which has got some, um, which has you know, just started up, but, but they're basically it. And, uh, you know, Naomi has obviously done a great job of convincing the funding of that, and now she just has to execute. Which she'll do. Don't worry, she'll do. I'm not worried at all. And <laughs> not about Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> I am not worried at all about I'm her. I'm still worried about my daughter, but that's a separate issue. Yeah, that is a separate issue. That is a separate issue. But that's good. That's good input from oh, well, I mean, it's very rare of these digital health companies that I'm actually using it. Well and, and have some perspective on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Well, yeah. there you go. Well. Okay. Hey. So, uh, you, by the way, worth mentioning, you have a great interview with Jonathan Bush. We didn't get to it uh, about Zeus Health. Funnily enough, they changed the name. It was Zeus, like the Greek god, Z-E-U-S. And then they found out there was another company called Zeus Health, so they changed it to Zeus. Yes, Z-U-S. I think that they mm -hmm. couldn't um, trademark the Greek god because it's kind of like too general. Well, to was also there was another guy, because his talk said, oh, Jonathan Bush is doing this new thing called Zeus Health, and he got all the wrong information. The other guy is like <laughs> private equity backed, buying medical device companies, but also in Boston, so I think. They had to unpass that before there was too late. But I mean, he's got some great people on board there and uh, great investors. And Julie, you, you know, there's a splash yeah, in the cash from the She's also on the board of Firefly, his, Jonathan Bush's J wife's company. Julie um, has a, Julie has Julie has an idea. It's a pretty yeah. good idea. It may be a fallacy, but it's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. I'm going to shamelessly promote my interview. Go check out my interview with him. I got to talk to him uh, right before this launch, actually. The interview aired the day of the launch. So um, I've got the inside scoop. And he's back in classic Jonathan Bush style. So highly. And he, and he will be in our conference. Yes, he will be Policies, in our conference. Policies, techies, VCs, what's next for healthcare? Coming up in early September. Yes, All that's right. right. Enough. So, Shame yourself. Get us out of here. here promotion from us why don't you go follow us on twitter i am matt justamasa and he is over there at bolty boy and you can always subscribe to our email newsletters over at thehealthcareblog.com and you'll receive all the content from the blog that was published during the week in your inbox on the weekend so you can peruse what happened at your own leisure over a cup of coffee Maybe of course. As long as there wasn't too much whiskey drunk on Friday, in which case sometimes it comes a bit. Well, I mean, I'm 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 a cure for a hangover. All the energy I've got, I'm a hangover cure. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> All right. I've dealt with you hungover and fixed you. Okay, and on that note, I'm going to say goodbye, Mr. Hulk. See you soon. Bye, Mr. Mason. Bye.